Hello everyone and welcome to this channel and welcome to this video. Now in this video we are continuing on with our discussion on HVAC and how to put clean air and warm air throughout your ship. In the last video we looked at independent systems meaning every room would have a heater or they'd have a simple nozzle and port that would allow the air to go through. Now we're going to continue on with more advanced systems so let's begin. In the previous video, we had independent systems, meaning each room had its own heater and sort of an airflow system that was going through that. Now for this option, I want to take a look at HVAC systems. So I want to actually put holes and have rooftop, uh, have one single rooftop unit pushing and distributing the air throughout this system. We're going to have two for the back area. So right now that is like heating or plumbing and ventilation. So all that now is going to be attached to one single line. And then we're going to put one pump and we're going to attach this system to it. So now it's just comes down to piping and we're quickly going to get that in. And then one single pump unit with one, well, first of all, let's try this. So here we have our HVAC system. Now I want to put a pump. Let's put a big one and let's see what happens. So we'll place it right here. Now on the end of this, I want to have a gas nozzle because I don't want anything else to come in other than gas, the air, and then into this system, we will place or connect it to the rest of it. Now, obviously that's gonna just compress the um, the rooms. They'll be compressing, like the, the air will be compressing inside them. So that won't be too good, but let's just give this a try and see what happens. Now I'm gonna put a button somewhere here and then connect it, connect all the battery stuff, and spawn it. Here we are inside the ship. Now what is weird, ever since I added these vents, there's actually stuff flowing through them. Now what I think is that it's because this system has this pump, and while the pump is off, technically there's no valve here. So I believe without a valve, we're actually transferring something, which is weird our carbon dioxide level is dropping, our gas level is increasing. So very interesting. And actually our pressure is pressure or equalizing ourselves to the outside atmosphere. So now we've equalized it, but technically it was already doing that. Now, as we close this, it actually wants to decompress us or sorry, depressure or remove the pressure. So it's actually dropping. So now we're creating a low pressure environment in here just by increase or adding that uh, HVAC system to the roof, which is kind of wild. I don't know if it is the, um, the pipes themselves are holding, um, if they're holding some gas and they're coming out, or I don't know if the pump is leaking almost and stuff is coming through, but because of this, we're going to now put a valve on the top and attach it to this button. So now when the button's pressed, then these valves are open, otherwise they're closed. So that may resolve that issue. We're gonna see. Okay, well, it did resolve it in a sense that right now we're stabilized. So we're stabilized, the pressure is not changing. Of course, our carbon dioxide level is gonna be increasing as we're breathing in here, but at least now, there's no weird movement of air through these pipes. Obviously, if we open the door, the place becomes pressurized or reaches atmospheric pressure. If we close the door a bit, uh, now it does not change. So I don't know why it started off with less pressure. Maybe because we had pipes, maybe like the 
ports use some of that and remove the pressure from the room, but regardless, now we're stabilized. Of course, like I said, carbon dioxide is increasing. So now, if I go ahead and turn on my pumps, you can see that these ports are now working, but we are pressuring ourselves, we're pressurizing ourselves. So if you do this too much, you're going to be in a high pressure environment, but you're pumping in more air, which includes the carbon dioxide and the oxygen, but you're not circulating it, you're just literally pumping it in. So now we stop it. So you can see we have almost 6,000 liters of oxygen, and of course we're going to consume it and deplete it. The pressure, however, is not changing. So whether there is oxygen or carbon dioxide, it stays equal. Now if I turn this on, we're going to end up with more oxygen. So I could, in theory, keep pumping in oxygen, but I'm going to keep increasing my pressure in here until my head explodes or until we pass out because it is no longer possible for this character to be here in the high pressure. So, okay, we have the pump working, but now how do we, we can't just have that system. Like it's not enough to have it. So we can open up these valves and then they're going to bleed off some of the pressure. So they're working now to remove the pressure. They're also balancing itself with the carbon dioxide and oxygen levels. So everything is dropping, but it's also neutralizing the carbon dioxide that we've been breathing. But it doesn't make much sense to have this crazy type of system where you have pumping in, pumping out. Like it does, but not to this extent, in my opinion. Like this is a major rework of your ship and you're still increasing in pressure because these ports aren't enough to relieve the pressure that we're putting into here. So back to the drawing board. So the question becomes, what if we have air circulation? What if not only do we have pumping in, but also pumping out? Now, maybe nothing will happen, but let's give it a shot. So I'm just going to put this up here and then put the continuation of pipes. and have ports that allow these um, pipes to work properly. There we go. So everything's connected now. Of course, we need to put this and it'll be two apart, which is easy to remember. All right, so these ports now will be pumping out. And of course, we have to put a pump. Do I need this large one? Probably not, to be honest, but just for sake of expediency, we'll try it. So, just like this. All right, now, where would we put the gas valve? We could put one gas valve or gas um, filter on each of these or we could put one gas filter right before this pump. Um, let's try it right before the pump, just so I don't have to add a bunch of them. Now, in our other video, we also determined that it does actually matter which side we put that on, which wacky enough, but it also does make sense. If we put it here, it'll make sure that gas is being pushed into the pump but technically other stuff can be in these in this piping system. So it could clog up with water, but if we put it on the other side, we'd actually clog our pump up with water. So this is still more or less optimal. Now we'll have to add another button, just like this, and we will attach the pump to it and all these brand new valves. So everything is now attached. And of course, we gotta plug it into electrical. So just like before, we start off a little under pressure, which I don't really know why, but now we are breathing. What's happening is the carbon dioxide is increasing. Okay. Now, if we pump in, we increase the pressure. It's increasing. Now, if we pump out, we remove the pressure. So we create a vacuum. Okay. So now we're in a vacuum situation. We're removing the carbon dioxide, but also the air and everything. Last but not least, if we try both at the same time, let's watch what happens. So our carbon dioxide levels 
are actually release relieving themselves. So they're dropping. Our air is also increasing, but what's interesting is we are actually pressuring ourselves. So we're actually entering a state of high pressure or higher pressure, which I don't really, I can't really explain. Like we're physically putting in more gas than we're taking out. As you can see, the gas level is increasing, so that explains the higher pressure. But why it's not a one-to-one -one system, which I thought it was, like it, to me, this system appears one-to-one. -one. We have the exact same pumps, the exact same um, filters, everything is equivalent in our pumping in and pumping out, yet we're still increasing in pressure. And if we just glitch through the walls here, I just want to see what the room is doing. Same thing, so higher pressure. So that's not a working HVAC system where you can have pumping in and pumping out to equalize, to equalize yourself with the pressure. So this is not optimal, of course. It comes down to, are you still going to have manual valves? And see, I turned these manual valves. Now we're actually dropping in pressure. So we're equalizing ourselves to the air around us. How does all this work? Like, what is the optimal system to have are some questions that you'll want to ask yourselves. And I saw some interesting things with my um, build challenge. I saw people had interesting ideas. But what is the right one? What is the best way? What did the developers envision for us to do to solve this problem did they think yeah we're just going to put some dumb valves like this or did they think we're going to have some more intricate systems but in my opinion this system that you see here this piping system is not what we need i would really really love to see an hvac system where it uses different pipes all together only that that only allow air transfer and maybe even a different pump that only allows air transfer. And then I'd, what I would do is I'd build little HVAC units. I'd put the pressure, the piping throughout the ship or building or whatever you have it. And it would pretty much allow a spreading of this clean, refreshed air through the system. So I don't like this. Like what I see here, I don't really like. I think something has to be done. Otherwise, it'll just come down to putting these guys. And just having this type of stuff where you can equalize your pressure from that and join yourself with the outside air without having to really worry about these different pumps and stuff because once you're putting a pump you're increasing the pressure and it's no good so easily this stuff here or having some sort of change by the developers where they actually put in a working hvac system and then it would be nice because we'd actually be able to put one unit with with a heater somewhere and it would pretty much have central heating you'd be able to centrally heat your whole ship through that one location and all it would look like is where we put this here you pretty much would just need a closed chamber like that you'd need a heater or even then it comes down to using the actual engine on the ship but pretty much this type of thing And then this would have its own little air intake, just like that. And then probably a pump. Pumping into here. Other way around though, you're pumping in. What am I doing? Yes, just like this. So you'd have a system like this and this is being heated and then you're pumping your warm air your heated air throughout your hvac system again i would love to not use these pipes i would love to have different pipes maybe square pipes that can only be used for hvac systems and then you do something like this and you'd be able to then operate it and regulate your the air and have clean air in your ship and have heat circulated throughout the ship whether it's pumped in from the engine room or from like from a radiator like imagine if you have an engine radiator somewhere else in your ship now something else I want to look at is the use of a catalytic converter to scrub the air someone in my comments mentioned you could use a catalytic converter to scrub the air clean so I'm very curious how that would work 
let's actually put a regular pump just so we don't have to manually be pressing on it. So fluid in, here we're sucking in air, putting it through here, putting it through the inside take of our catalytic and pushing it out. Obviously, maybe we also want to have just the little air filter thing or gas filter on the front end here. So that's pretty much it. We're going to just join it all up. Okay, we're in the room. We're breathing. I'm going to wait for it to get up to 11 and then I'm going to turn on the scrubber. All right, I've waited a little bit. We're almost at 12 here. We're almost at 11 and a half. I'm going to turn this on and quickly look back. So we're now just pumping air through this system that we have here. Is it actually dropping? In my opinion, no, we're still climbing. Our carbon dioxide level is climbing. This is still pumping and it's even putting stuff through the catalytic converter. But is my air being cleaned? It is not being cleaned. So I would say that myth is debunked. But I will say, and I had this idea months ago, even before this update, I thought it would be cool if they were to implement an air system that would also have a scrubbing system for submarines and stuff. So while the catalytic converter does not work, I would really think that we should have some sort of scrubbing system, maybe not 100% efficient, obviously, but maybe 50% efficient, so you can regenerate some of the oxygen, and then the rest will just be remain carbon dioxide, or you pump it into tanks, like the, the whatever is left from your scrubber, you, you filter it out, you have air coming into your room, and then you have whatever else, the waste stuff, going into another tank, compressing it up, and then eventually when your submarine hits the surface, you can go ahead and release that nasty stuff, but you ended up scrubbing your system. One day soon I'm going to read my notes that I have on my phone and I'll explain what I thought about months ago for this game that is sort of now implemented, but not fully. So I will utilize the rest of my ideas and make them into a video. Regardless, thank you all for watching. We learned two more things. We learned how potentially to use an HVAC system a closed system with piping to pump in and out into our ship rather than single points of origin such as the ones we currently have and we debunked the myth of the catalytic converter unless there's another way let me know in the comments but thank you all for watching let me know what you think like the video subscribe all that good stuff join my discord server we have good discussions on there about this update and potential fixes and as always happy storm everyone